The Stillman School of Business is happy to present a new Spring 2012 elective course called Adept Reasoning and Communication. The great news is that this course counts as a communications elective. As you go through the business curriculum, you're going to be learning a lot of wonderful things in topics like finance, economics, marketing, and so on. Now, all of this knowledge will be only of limited use to you unless this knowledge rests on top of a framework of critical thinking, crisp writing, reasoning, excellent presentation skills, the ability to write great business documents, and a whole host of thinking tools that come along with all of these things. Without that infrastructure, basic functional knowledge is going to be of very limited use for you. I like to think of effective communication as really having three important components. The first of these is the ability to digest information that is presented to us. And that consists of, first of all, being able to ask the right questions. Unless we ask the right questions of a speaker or of a document or of a presentation, we will not be able to get underneath the argument and see if we should accept it or not. And therefore, this will help us to dissect any arguments that are being made to identify the component parts. Also important is to spot any logical flaws that exist in the argument, evaluate the evidence, and identify if any important information is missing and which, if presented, might change the whole structure of the argument. The second important component of adept communication is the ability to create information. That's the converse of digesting information and therefore we now need to be able to build solid arguments. We need to be able to write concisely so that we can communicate our arguments effectively. And thirdly, we have to be able to present information and here I'm talking about the layout of documents in such a way that our the message that we are trying to communicate gets across most effectively. It's not enough to be able to just write very well in terms of composing sentences and paragraphs and essays, but we need to lay it out in such a way that when somebody reads that information, the most important parts of our communication leap up at the reader. The third important part of adept communication, of course, is to be able to orally present your ideas effectively. And that consists of structuring your presentations effectively that is ordering the sequencing of the various things that you're going to say. The second is to create effective slides that communicate what you want to say without being a distraction to the audience. The third part is to deliver your presentations convincingly so that the audience is able to see that you're making a credible presentation and the audience is willing to believe you and act on whatever you're saying at the end of your presentation, which requires that you need to be able to establish a connection with the audience. You should be able to understand what the audience wants and satisfy their requirements. This course will address all of these three topics pretty solidly. The two main things that we'll be emphasizing in the course, adept reasoning, adept communication, together form the basis for a successful career.